in this video we're going to work our way through how to create a rib in a part to add additional strength and stiffen the particular feature without adding a large amount of material. We're going to utilize the rib tool in Inventor to create two ribs at the exact same time on our part. So I'm going to move to a file where we do not have a particular rib built into this feature at this point in time. So we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process to go ahead and build this rib. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a work plane that's going to run directly through the center of the part. And we'll do that first by being able to position a line that's going to somehow position our work plane here through the center. We're going to do that by selecting any portion of the center feature here and then drawing a portion of a line that we can utilize to make a parallel plane to that particular line. So I'm going to grab the line and then I'm going to grab the bottom of the part and then I can see that I'm going to now make a work plane that is going to be at a 90 degree angle from the bottom of the part that will then work at a 90 degree angle about that line's axis. So we'll go ahead and hit OK to that. Now that I have a work plane running through the center of that part I can now go ahead and start to sketch in some geometry that will be used to create our rib. I'll then go ahead and grab a 2D sketch and I'll then select the work plane. Then grabbing the work plane I can now start working through the process of building the geometry for the rib. The rib tool can be a little tricky to work your way through. But what I found to work is if I'm going to then utilize that sketch running through the center of the part. If I grab my project geometry tab and then select the top of the circle for my rounded features that will then project the surface or project that line of this circle onto my sketch. It's a great place to start. Then I can go ahead and utilize my line tool to draw a line from the end of each of these particular lines for my angled rib here. Once I do that I can then go ahead and finish out my sketch and I can go ahead and grab my rib tool from my create bar and then select that line. Selecting that line means that the rib will actually extend all the way across and through my part, yet it will not extend through the holes of my feature. I can now go ahead and tell this to be set up to be parallel to that sketch plane. I can give it thickness at this point, so 0.25 is the thickness that I'd like to keep, and it's going to extrude in both directions so that the rib is now centered on my sketch and my work plane. This is the rib that I'm looking to have, and you can see the presentation here uh, the preview that it is actually creating a rib through the same part that has already been made but that doesn't cause any issue as it's not filling in the holes. Important to take a look at are these connection points to make sure that the rib is connecting at all points here to the center piece and to its two side pieces and by building the rib this way that ensures a nice clean connection between these two uh, shaft features. So I'll go ahead and hit OK and now you can see that we have got a rib feature uh, built up here on our part. This is now able to then go into our stress analysis and then we can start testing different materials given the design feature of the rib and what that design feature gives us with materials as well as removing the rib to see what happens with our design. Alright, hope that helps with the rib feature.